Hey everyone, this is Shaman from Rocketship HQ. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through three ways in which we have automated decision-making via Facebook's readily available tools. Now, a lot of day-to-day -day decisions in your campaigns, you can do manually if your account is relatively small. Uh, if you have one or two ad sets, you can go in and you know, turn off ads that are underperforming or increase your bids. But we noticed that as some of our accounts grew, they got to tens of campaigns, tens of ad sets, hundreds of ads. It became increasingly harder to keep track of all of the minute decisions we had to be making. Even if we had quantified a lot of these decisions, it was just cumbersome to execute it. So, here are three rules that we have found helpful, right? Cool. Uh, so here's how we find it basically, right? In Facebook's Ads, Man Ads Manager, go to Automated Rules, All Tools, and go to Automated Rules here, right? Perfect. Great. There's a screen with no rules in place. Create rule. Right. So I'm going to walk you through three key rules that we have set up that we find the most important right uh let's walk you through each of these good uh the first rule we find most important is to turn off underperforming ads okay yes so let's go to turn off ads with click through rate is under 0.1 percent 0.2 percent right these are really bad and you want to make sure you have enough impressions. I'm going to say 10,000 impressions. Great. And this shouldn't be lifetime. I, I tried to do last seven days. You know, these are options you can customize for your own use. Continuously, subscriber. And really, this is it. You know, uh, rule name is turn off under performing ads. Good, that's rule number one. By the way, you could turn off ads that also have low CPAs. Uh, if you have good CTR, low CPAs, you can turn that off as well. Actually, why don't we just create that as our next rule? Yes, cool. So turn off ads with, there we go, is smaller than whatever your CPA is. It's dollar 50, last seven days, the turn off ads with high CPAs. By the way, if you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to really turn it off because there may be, you know, exceptions. Uh, it there may be outliers. I don't want to leave the decisions hundred percent to a machine. What you can do is you say send notification only, which basically means you get notified every time you know. Uh, the system encounters an ad with high CPA. Uh, this should be greater than fifty. Cost per it's greater than fifty dollars. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So you get notified, so you can go in and make the chain manually. Uh, in this case, you just get manually alerted. Right. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's turn this off. Turn off ad sets with high CPAs. Great. Next. Uh, our next key rule is to ramp ad sets, right? So we typically, uh, so here's, here's the situation in which this applies. Oftentimes we start new ad sets to test new creators or new audiences. And sometimes we just notice they're not getting enough spent. Uh, in that case, uh, oftentimes what we do is we want to increase our bids until spends get to a point where it's meaningful right uh so we're saying all active ad sets increase bids by 10 percent if spend for yesterday which is the last calendar day is smaller than dollar 50. right again this is a threshold that makes sense for us uh you should pick what works for you uh, Right, uh, great. And you can add a man manual bidding cap. So you say, well, my bid 
this is the highest amount. You want to be a little careful here because you may have CPI bids some places, you may have cost per purchase bids elsewhere. So you may not want to do it for active assets. Uh, you can go into the Facebook interface, select specific assets and apply the rules only to them. Right? Uh, and in that case, you can even say, look, increase bid by X dollars, right? If it's a cost per purchase, you want to increase bid by $50. If it's a CPI, you want to increase bid by $2. Great, excellent. So this is uh, ramp spends for underspending ad sets. Great, this is created. Uh, it is not letting me save it. All active ad sets. This may be. Oh, let's try this. There we go. I don't know why. Oh, only ad sets with manual bids. Okay, great. It asked me for a manual bidding cap. Let's enter twenty dollars for now. All right, assuming everything is a CPI bid, and then we hit create. Great. Next. Uh, our next important rule is when we drop bids for underspending for underperforming assets. Okay, so let's create a rule. And again, this is going to be very similar to the earlier one. You could either turn off assets or adjust bids. Right, or yeah, so let's decrease bids by 10%. Oh, 10%. And this is the lowest min minimum bid. Let's put this as $20. If cost per result is greater than $50, okay. great. And there are ways to define this cost per result. More specifically, you can say cost per add to cart, right? Cost per mobile add to cart is greater than $50. So if some uh, campaigns are ad optimizing for CPI, some for CPA, you can still say if my cost per add to cart is greater than $50, then decrease bid by 10% or turn it off, really, you know? Uh, this. The rule name is ramp down, dial down, underperforming ad sets. Great. This is where you are. At this point of time, there's one limitation to this. Uh, I think this is just a limitation of the Facebook tool. Uh, what you can, so here, here we go, right? So here's the challenge I noticed. All active campaigns, you want to turn off campaigns if the you want to increase budget at the campaign level you cannot increase budgets at the campaign level uh, so you cannot do things to the cbo campaigns campaign budget optimization if that's what you're trying at this point you cannot apply it at this point of time uh, right now which is i believe july 28 2019 uh, but that can and will change as facebook evolves further okay so uh, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this was useful in automating your own workflows. Thank you.